Today we're going to take a trip around Zionsville, Indiana, rated the number three best place to live in Indiana. It's also rated the number three best place to raise a family. Hey, it's got the bronze medal thing going on, but when you're number three out of over 300, it's pretty darn good. Its motto is for all the right reasons. So follow me. I'm going to share what some of those right reasons are. Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Let's start our tour today with location. Zionsville is a northwest suburb of Indianapolis, which is the state capital. It, Zionsville is 18 miles north of downtown, so it's pretty darn easy to get down there for ball games and those types of things. It's sandwiched between its larger and more celebrated neighbor to the east, Carmel, and I-65 to the west. Hey, it's really nestled in its own little bubble which a lot of people really like. From the east, you can take 116th Street from Carmel, you cross Michigan Road, there's a name change to Sycamore Street, and you're into town center. And speaking of town center, it's the heart and soul of Zionsville. You know, people describe it as quaint, small town feel. Hey, think brick paved Main Street. Hey, it's even the original bricks. There are small boutique shops and independent restaurants. And if you continue on Sycamore through town, it becomes Oak, and then I think it becomes Russell Lake or something or other, out to I-65. If you go north on uh, Main Street or First, it'll take you out to uh, Whitestown, where you'll find, uh, oh, a lot of booming development right now that's more chain store oriented and that type of thing. Or you can go south, uh, about 10 minutes uh, to 96th Street in Indianapolis, and there's a good deal of restaurants and retail shops all along there. Zionsville is smaller and, you know, not so convenient to get to. So there's not as many jobs in Zionsville proper as you might think. It does have the Creek Seat Corporate Park, which uh, is home to the Graham Ray Hall racing team. But for the most part, jobs are concentrated in nearby Carmel or uh, down on 96th Street in that area along the Beltway. And remember, I-465, the Beltway, is just 10 minutes south. Let's talk schools. It's one of the things Zionsville is really known for. Niche.com gives it an A plus grade. It ranks at the number three, there's that number three thing again, number three best public school district in the entire state out of over 300. But get this, if you're a teacher, they say it's the number one best place to work in the entire state. Zionsville sports a 98% graduation rate. It has six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school, and there's only 2,255 students, which is less than half the size of nearby Carmel. And some people really like that. When it comes to healthcare, you've got a mix of urgent care facilities and physician offices, but for hospitals, you're probably heading down to 96th Street to St. Vincent's or over to Carmel where you've got uh, more of Ascension St. V's, you've got uh, the IU Health Network. You just got a whole lot of hospitals and ancillary uh, medical facilities all up and down uh, State Highway 31. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna wanna pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Let's switch over to Parks and Rec. There's over 700 acres of parks in the town of Zionsville. They've got year-round activities, summer concerts at the gazebo. There's a big fall festival with a parade and American Dream car show and a carnival. Hey, and then there's a splash park and all sorts of facilities and fields that you can rent or use. And like the town itself, there's a lot of scenic beauty. Now, if golf's your thing, there's the Holiday Farms Country Club, which uh, has a course that's designed by Pete Dye. There's also the Zionsville Golf Club, which is a public nine-hole course. You know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Polo Club. I don't know how big a thing it is in Zionsville itself, but it uh, kind of sets the tone. Zionsville is one of the few places when you look through the zoning regulations, they have special zoning for horse farms. And when I'm showing land out there, you see um, advertised, uh, you know, zone for horses, not zone for horses. You, uh, you come across properties that have stables and uh, riding rings and all that type of thing, facilities for, for, uh, for horses. So um, it does kind of set the tone uh, for the town itself. Okay, let's talk shopping. Hey, Zionsville is known for its boutiques, whether you're talking about in town center or uh, you can go over to uh, the Boone Village where you'll find uh, local favorites like Chocolat chocolates. Otherwise, you're heading up to Whitestown or down to 96th Street or over to nearby Carmel for your big box stores and that type of thing. Let's flip over to restaurants. You've got to go to the Friendly Tavern. It's known for its wings. Or, hey, there's a new public house. And uh, this is something that's really popular over in Westfield and Noblesville. 
And if you go there, be sure to try the Chickle Brine Chicken Sandwich. Sounds kind of odd, but it's really good. You can stop in at Noah Grant's for a sushi and raw bar, or you can head over to Convivio where you're gonna find classic pasta and Italian entrees. Hey, and the day wouldn't be complete without a stop at Scoops for a scoop of ice cream. Hey, if Zinesville doesn't sound like Carmel or Westfield, well, it's not. It's got a quaint, slower feel. It's got a small town vibe, and yet it's on the edge of all the hustle and bustle. Now, if that's the type of place you're looking for, check out Zionsville. Just 30,000 residents, A-plus schools, and it's ranked the number three best town to live in in the state of Indiana. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale, and then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.